The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 15. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 15th, 1973, in London, England. Translation Then Lord Krishna blew his conch shell, named Panchajanya. Arjuna blew his, the Deva Datta. And Bhima, the voracious eater and performer of Herculean tasks, blew his terrific conch shell named Pondram. So, Jikovadara, Bhima Sen, is advertised as voracious eater. But he can perform Herculean tasks also. Just like the elephant. It is voraciously, but it gives service also. Similarly, if we simply eat voraciously and we cannot give any service, uh, that's not good. We must eat sumptuously and give service also. Uh, in Bengali it is said that pete khele pite uh, if one is given sufficient food in the belly, he can uh, carry more burden on the back. So, Bhima karma, his activities are very herculean, very, very difficult tasks he perform. So everyone is named here with his task. The first name is Krishna Rishikesha. Rishikesha. He is the uh, master of the senses. Uh, Govinda. Go, go means senses. Who gives pleasure to these senses. So, uh, Krishna has got many names, thousands. Out of which the Krishna name is chief, Mukha, that is described in Vedic literature. Uh, people say God has no name, that is right. He has no particular fixed name, but his names are there according to his different activities. Uh, just like his name is Devaki Namna. Because he accepted Devaki as his mother, therefore he is called Devaki Namna. Similarly, he is called Nanda Namna, Jasadananda, Brajanda Namna. In relationship, in Nanda Maharaj, Jasada, his foster father and mother. Similarly, he is sometimes named Parthasarathi, because he acted as the chariot driver of Arjun. Arjun's name is Partha. His mother's name is Pritha, Kunti. From Pritha, his name is Partha. From his father's name, Pandu, his name is Pandava. So in this way, big personalities are anyone. They should tally. The name should tally with the activities. This is nomenclature. Uh, according to Vedic civilization, after the birth of the child, there was uh, name giving ceremony. What kind of name? So that was calculated astro astrologically. So what kind of name he should be given? Because the name should carry some meaning of the activities of his life. So, Krishna is named here Rishikesha. Rishikesha, Krishna, in the 15th chapter, is described that he gives direction to everyone. Sarvasya chahum ridhisanni vishtya. I am sitting in everyone's heart as Paramatma. Uh, realization of the Absolute Truth 
are three features Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Vadanti tat tat pavidas tatyam jadgyanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaneti sabdati. Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan, the same object. Uh, so, the Brahma realization is impersonal realization. Just like the sun, the sun globe, and the sun sign. They are one. But the sun sign, realization of the sun sign, is not realization of the sun globe. Or realization of the sun globe. It's not realization of the sun god who is within the sun globe. Uh, Vibhasyan, his name is Vibhasyan, the present predominating deity in the sun planet. His name is uh, Vibhasyan. And his son, Manu, is called Vaivasaka Manu. This is the age of Vaivasaka Manu. So, uh, as the, this is very nice example that the sun sign, the sun globe, and the sun god, it is, they are all one. But still, the sun globe is not the person sun god, neither the sun sign is not the person, although they are one. This is called achinta vidavetat. Inconceivably, one and different simultaneous. So Brahma realization is also God's realization, that is Parsya. The Supreme Lord is Satchitananda Vigra. He is person. But he is not a person like us. He is Satchitananda Vigra. Ishara Parama Krishna. Satchidananda Vigra. Vigraha means person. So, he is person. Bhagavan. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan it is subject. Three features, realization of the Absolute. The first realization, imperfect realization, is impersonal Brahma. Further, advanced realization, Paramatma realization. And ultimate realization, the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna. These are the three stages. So, when he is Rishi Kesa, it is his Paramatma feature. As it is stated in the Bhagavad Ishara, Sarvabhutanam, Riddeshi, Arjuna, Tishtati, Brahman, Sarvabhutani, Jantra, Rudhani, Maya, Ishara, the Supreme Lord, Krishna. Ishara means the Supreme, Ishara means controller. But the Supreme Controller is Krishna. Ishara, Parama, Krishna. Control every one of us, we are controllers. The controller of our family, our society, our business, our factory. There are different kinds of controller. So in that sense, everyone is Ishara, but different types of Ishara. But the Supreme Ishara, Supreme means nobody controls Him, but He controls everyone. That is Supreme. Here we are controller, but we are also controlled. Somebody else, superior than me. Therefore, we cannot be called Supreme Controller. Supreme Controller is Krishna. When Krishna is present on this planet, nobody could control Krishna, but He controlled everyone. Uh, nobody could control Krishna. That, that, therefore, the great saintly persons, even Brahma, they have decided that Ishara Parama Krishna, 
the supreme controller is Krishna. He controls even Brahma. Adikavai. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, Tene Brahma Rida Adikavai. Uh, Tene, he instructed Brahma, Sabda Brahma, Vedic knowledge, uh, Rida, through heart. That is Rishikesh. Uh, you can argue that Brahma was the first teacher within this universe. So how could he could be instructed by somebody else? No. The somebody else is always there within the heart. Rishikesh. Rishikesh means controller. Sarvasya Chahum, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. Sarvasya, in the fifteenth chapter, Sarvasya Chahum, Vidhi Sandhi Vishya. I am sitting in everyone's heart. Matka smriti jnana mapu hanancha. From me one remembers and one forgets. Forget something. Uh, if you want to forget Krishna, so Krishna will give you such intelligence that he will forget him forever. Jita Thavam Prabhadvante. So the atheist class, demon class, they want to forget Krishna. So Krishna gives him such intelligence that he can speak of atheism as so many volumes. But he is getting that intelligence from Krishna. Krishna gives everyone the chance. So whatever you want to do, you can do. I will give you intelligence. See, if you want to become atheist, then I will give you intelligence. How to become first class atheist, like Hiranyakasipu, Rava, Kamsa. And if you want to become devotee, then I will give you intelligence also, in that way. Buddhi ju gandadamitam jinamam upajantite tisam nityavi jiptanam bhajatam priti purvakam Anyone who is engaged in his service with love and affection, peace, not all, not all, because not all, not everyone wants to serve him. Everyone wants to become God. Imitate, imitation. Therefore they say, why Krishna shall be alone God, I am God. You are God, that's all right. But you are not the Supreme God. Why you forget that? Above you, uh, you may be God at home of your wife, but when you go to your office, you are not God. Your master is God. Uh, he directs you to do something, you have to do it. Uh, so, uh, we may claim that every one of us we are God, but nobody can claim that we are Supreme, I am Supreme God. That is not possible. That can Krishna can claim only. Matta Paratarang Nanya Kinchidaski Dhananjaya. My dear Dhananja, there is no more superior personality than me. And he proved it. So God cannot be manufactured. God is God. Krishna when he was three years, three months old, on the lap of his mother. Still he was God. He could kill the Putana. Uh, so God cannot be manufactured by so-called meditation and mystic power. Uh, he can get some of the uh, insignificant powers of God. But simply, but you do not know how much powerful is God, that you do not know. Therefore, when a, a person gets little power, he thinks that he has become God. He does not know how much powerful God is. Uh, therefore, Shastra say that you may be God in your own atmosphere, in your own jurisdiction. Uh, you may think that you are God. Uh, everyone thinks like that. But the Supreme God is this now? Eka jo bahunam vidadati kama. 
in the Upanishad it is said that God is also a person like me, you. Nitya Nityanam, Chetana Chetananam. But his personality is different from your personality, from my personality. What is that different? The ekojo bahunam vidudati kama. He supplies all the necessities of all other personalities. That is the difference. God is supplying us food. This conception is there in the Bible. God give us our daily bread. This is nice. Accepting that we are getting all supplies from God. This is sukriti. This is punnava. If one, anyone says, Ah, what God? We are creating our own food, just like the communist says. Ah, they are duskriti now. Rascals. But if anyone even goes to the church and temple for asking something to God, he is pious. At least he has approached God. So one day, uh, when he will be advanced devotee, he will not ask him. Uh, he knows, no, why shall I bother God? He is supplying everyone food, so why shall I ask him food? My food is also there. Let me serve me. That is higher intelligence. Uh, that is higher intelligence. Then why shall I ask food from God? God is supplying food to the cats, dogs, ants, elephants, and I want little food, He will not supply me. And especially when I engage myself in His service, ordinary man pays to His servant, and I shall starve if I am engaged in the service of God. This is intelligence. This is intelligence. Uh, why shall I bother God? If He likes, I will start. That doesn't matter. But I must engage myself in the service of the law. This is intelligence. Bhavanam janmanam ante jnanavan maang prapadyate. This intelligence comes after many, many births of endeavoring for self-realization. It is not easily comes. So there is no question of scarcity for devotee. Just like this morning I was discussing with this gentleman. So a devotee is not in need of everything. Why he should be? He cannot be. Even one who is not devotee, if he is getting supplies from God, how is it that the devotee will not get? Just like the government. The government, although there is prison house, the government supplies the food. Not that because they have gone to the prison house, they are starving. Rather, those who are unemployed, they prefer prison house that is out any service, they will get free food. So anyone within this material world, they are prisoners. Brahmayam, Jantru, Rani, Mayaya, Ishara, Sarvabhutan, Amridesh, Arjuna, Tishthati, Ishara, the Supreme Lord, Krishna, as Rishikesh, He is sitting in everyone's heart as Paramatma, and He is guiding. This is confirmed in the Vedas that two birds are sitting on one tree. Uh, these two birds, one is Krishna and the living entity, Paramatma and Jiva. The Jivatma is eating the fruit and Paramatma is simply becoming witness. Anumantya, uh, Upodrashtya, uh, Paramatma is saying, this uh, case is saying that you are doing this. So we may forget what nuisance we have done in our last life, but Paramatma is there, witness. We have to get a body according to your work. Karmana dayonetrena. Uh, you are working, that is being witnessed by the Paramatma. Uh, and he is also giving advice because we have forgotten Krishna. We have rebelled against Krishna. We want to act 
according to our wings. Uh, just like a child wants to do something according to his wings. Father checks him. My dear child, do not do this. But if he likes, if he persists, father says, all right, you do it. This is the position. The Rishi case, Paramatma, he is always guiding us. But we do not accept his guidance. This is our position. Arjuna has accepted Krishna, then I shall uh, be guided by you. Although you will not fight. Therefore, here is the same. Rishi is guiding Arjuna. Uh, the Rishi means the senses. Rishi ka Isha. Isha means Lord, Master. Uh, Ishara or Isha. So Rishi Kesha. Actually, he is the master of the senses. Uh, and the Bhagavad Gita is fine. In the 11th chapter, he says, Sarvatova Panipadasti. God has his hands and legs all over the universe. What is that? This is our hand, our legs. This is God's hand, God's leg. Uh, he is the master. I am cleaning. This is my hand. But as soon as God withdraws the power of your hand, it is paralyzed. You cannot repair. Therefore, the real proprietor is Krishna. You are not proprietor. You have been given the facility to use it. Uh, or use it not for your sense gratification, but for the satisfaction of the Lord. Then your life is perfect. Because the things become, belongs to Krishna is Rishikesh. He is the master. Uh, it's like uh, we are sitting in this house, and somebody has given us. Uh, similarly, everything belongs to God. This is self realization. My body belongs to God, my mind belongs to God, my intelligence belongs to God, and spirit, soul, and person, part and parcel of God. Therefore, everything belongs. Ishava samidam sarvam. Everything else. Oh. So if you don't use it for God, uh, that is called uh, demonic. And if you use it for God, that is devotion. That's all. Oh. One must realize that everything belongs to God. Nothing belongs to me. Even this body is given to me by God. Why different body? Uh, the different body is, God gives us different body according to our karma. That is explained. Karmana daivanetrena jantar deha upapati. How we get a different type of body? We have got different types of body. Uh, because according to our past karma, we have created a certain type of body. And now we have entered into this body and working according to past karma. Uh, the Christian theologians, they do not believe in the karma. Uh, I was student in Christian college, Scottish Churches College. So, in our younger days, the professor, Dr. W. S. Harford, so I heard his lecture, that he did not believe in the karma. He said that if I am suffering and enjoying for my last karma, who is the witness? Because some witness must be there, I have done this. But at that time we are not very expert. But this Rishi case is the witness. Anumantya, Upadrashtya. Upadrashtya is simply saying. So the Christians, they have no Paramatma idea. Sometimes they say, Holy Ghost, uh, and a clear idea. But this Rishikesha is clear idea. Uh, Rishikesha, Rishika Isha. So this bhakti, uh, devotional path, is meant for satisfying the master of the senses. Uh, Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti Ruchat. Rishikena, by your senses, 
when you serve the Rishi Kesha, the master of the senses, that is called bhakti. This is the definition of bhakti. Rishi Kena, Rishi Kesha, Sevanam, Bhakti Richa, Narapanjadat. So, that is our business. Uh, we should understand that is self-realization. Isabhasamidam sarva. Everything belongs to God. Nothing belongs to us. This is Bhagavad communism. As the communists, they say everything belongs to the state. We say everything belongs to God. Uh, we don't never say that anything belongs to anyone. No. This is Bhagavad communism. Uh, so everything belongs to God. So one can utilize God's property as much as he requires, not more than that. Then he will be thief, he will be punishable. Uh, just like Father's property. Each and every son has got the right to live as the Father's protection. Mahadira uh, Prasasiddhanam. That is spiritual communism. Whatever wealth is there within this universe, all belong to God. And we are as sons of God. We have got right to take advantage of this wealth, but not more than what I require. That's all. This is spiritual communism. If you take more, then you become punishable. This is the law of nature. Therefore, our aim of life should be to understand that everything, to know, this is self-realization, that everything belongs to God, nothing belongs to us. This is self-realization. I also belong to God. Uh, mind is body, made of five elements, gross body, bhumi, rapana, lavayu, uh, hot water, fire, air, sky. This is gross body. And subtle body, kāgamano uh, buddhi yeah. riva, mind, intelligence, ego, these eight. Krishna says, bhinna me prakriti astadha. These eight kinds of prakriti, they are my energy. They are my energy. So this whole universe is creation of Krishna's material energy. We are marginal energy of Krishna. So we are now put into this material energy because we wanted to enjoy this material world. In the spiritual world, the only enjoyer is Krishna. Either in spiritual or material world, he is the only enjoyer. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhoktaram Jagdhavasam Sagaloka Mahesaram are the enjoyer. So, this is the Vandas too, that he is the supreme enjoyer. He is a, also an enjoyer of my energy, because my energy is derived from Krishna's energy. Just like master and servant. The master is paying him food, anything for comfort. He is getting energy. So how the energy should be utilized for the master? Not for his sense gratification. Oh, this is perfection of life. You produce everything by your energy, but you cannot use it for your sense gratification. Oh. Then you become perfect. Oh. And if you want to do it, then Rishi Kesha, the master of the senses, will give you intelligence. How to do it? Oh. Just like he is giving Arjun intelligence. Oh. Therefore he is mentioned as Rishi Kesha. Oh. How to win victory, how to utilize his energy for Krishna. Krishna wanted the battle. Arjuna was a military man. He utilized his military strength for Krishna's purpose. That is the perfection of life. So whatever you have got, if you utilize it for Krishna's sake, Rishi Kena, Rishi Kesa Sevanam, Bhakti, that is Bhakti. Even by fighting, you can get great devote, just like old. Uh, you are not chanting on the beach, but you are fighting. But still, bhaktosi priyosine 
Krishna says, Oh, you are my great devotee. The people may say that he was not chanting, he was fighting. How he became a great devotee? But Krishna says, Bhaktosi, Piryosi, you are my dear friend. Uh, you are my devotee. Because you are utilizing your energy for me. So bhakti means you utilize your energy for Krishna. Then your life is perfect. Thank you very much.